welcome everyone. Well, today is a bit a little bit different. Uh, Dan, Dan got me out of uh, bed this morning, 11 o'clock. Um, I had a massive line because uh, last night was in Pool Park. Matt and I'm doing an investigation with the Ouija brothers, and uh, yeah, we've just drove like many, many miles, and we've actually come to uh, what is known as the City of the Dead, which is um, I think Greyfriars um, Graveyard in Edinburgh, Scotland, and uh, basically, yeah, uh, this is basically. Right now where I'm stood, uh, Zach Bagans was here doing the investigation in the Edinburgh Vaults and they did a little bit of a talk here, but um, yeah, it's got some creepy ass graves there, so uh, check this out. This is weird, isn't it? when no man can work. Sir John Watt, Hepburn Stewart, Forbes Bar of What the Pit Pits can call and I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> but yeah we joined um got got my guy Flex with us today. Uh when was the last time I've seen you Flex? Um is it not that ton of that crazy homeless no, it wasn't. It was the that tunnel, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the um, the nuclear. The crazy no, nuclear it fallout. It was when we just drove around aimlessly looking for places we didn't find anything. It was looking at ROC posts. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a while ago. That was like yeah, that was ages ago. Three months. Yeah. Three months. My car. Yeah, it was. But back now. So yeah, <laughs> check this guy out. Links in the description. Uh, we actually did some some stuff on the um, on, on the old channel there, and um, yeah, what was it? We did the yeah, it was the Crazy Man's Nuclear Bunker, yeah, wasn't it? Crazy Man's Nuclear Bunker, and there was the ROC post. ROC post. ROC post. Yeah. Cool. Like, there should be more. Like, I've got some paranormal stuff for you as well. Oh yeah. So there should be quite a lot of that. Ooh. Like creepy, creepy stuff. I'm all about paranormal. Do you know? I don't even know why why I'm even involved in this right now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, especially after the pool park episode, I said that I wasn't doing any more paranormal stuff. But yeah, here I am, stood in the most haunted graveyard in the world. Yeah, and you know what? Literally, you brought me. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, urban explorers turn into some, uh, some. I've got Jack, and I've got done into paranormal now. Yeah, I think, yeah. This is the one, isn't it? This is the one here. <clears throat> so right behind me now, this um, this crate's basically um, it has actually got underground uh, passageways to all the um, the Edinburgh vaults um, underneath us, which is just basically like you know miles of uh, tunnels and things like that. Um, yeah, a homeless man actually broke into this, um, and he he stumbled across. Um, all of um, you know, the tunnels and shit like that, and apparently came out. Or when they found him, he was he was like seriously possessed or something like that. Um, you know whether, whether the story is true or not, who knows? But this is legitimate. No joke. This is supposed to be um, the ha most haunted graveyard in the world. This is 15th century right now. Put it in the description. Original. That foundation, I think, is 14th century, and it was 15th century. <laughs> see on the right hand side. See that? Yeah, yeah, the the huh? That's it, isn't it? No, no, no. So right there guys, that grate right there is one of the passages Whoa. in to the Edinburgh Vaults. And 
gonna be awesome if we got in there. So me, Dan and Flex were discussing uh, basically underneath us now, um, it's what's known as Ninja Street Vaults and basically there's just miles of tunnels and what, what it was originally was, um, I think it was where people took refuge from the plague wasn't it? Um, I don't know about the origins but all I know that it was once merchants that used to have shops down there. Yeah, I think it was um, the or it, it was originally for um, like the, you know the plague victims to, to get, honest, get off the streets and stuff like that. It was probably that. before that, it was used before yeah. that, we just don't have a record of it. Um, apparently they did, that's the, re the reason why it's all on the ground now is because they started to build around the city and stuff like that. And then Similar to Manchester. Yeah, mm. yeah. But the underground the Manchester. Yeah, Victor and Sons and stuff like that. So um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but, but right now we're, we're literally surrounded in history. Uh, Dan was actually saying, you know, um, the foundations of the, was actually 14th century and then officially it's all 15th century well, graves and stuff like that. recorded it? foundations was 14th, no doubt was well before yeah, that. Yeah, well before that. Talking yeah. Anglo-Saxon period. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Even before that. 100%. Vikings. Yeah. Even before that. Yeah, just keep going, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just keep going. But um, yeah, it's proper um, it's proper gothic shit right now. See it down there? <laughs> shit, yeah. I mean, you can't even get in there. It's like, what kind of mysteries are in there? I know, that. You never know. We're not allowed down there. No, because it's locked, isn't it? But like, why? It's the same as, as this. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe there's something more Let's to it. Let's go find out if we can find someone here. Yeah, yeah what, like a tour guide? I'm going to save them for the game. Locked, there's something locked in there for the reason. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, so, so, guys, right, so right now we are discussing how we are going to get through this padlock. Now, right now, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a game of Fable or Skyrim. Right? More, more towards Fable. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use my silver tongue right, to persuade someone to open that because I don't think we'd be we'd be safe pit locking this one. No. So, I'm thinking, and I don't have my axe handy to. To chop the gate down like I'd normally do in the game Mate, fable. It might be funny, but can you imagine if you're dead? I might become possessed. <laughs> we might walk away, just like, <laughs> just gone, man. Oh, uh, you know what? You know, I'm, gone. Compl I'm completely fine walking around here in the day, but as soon as it turns night, I'm not for a fact something stupid's gonna happen. I'm gonna stood there silent, thinking, I'm not saying nothing until we get out of here. <laughs> Bear in mind, this guy brought me here. He, he brought me here. I'm the paranormal oh, guy. History. <laughs> It's a beautiful place. I've never been before. I always want to come. I would sleep here. And then, and then obviously I invite Carl, and Carl's just like, "Oh yeah, let's do the paranormal." And I'm like, "For sake, I'm, I'm along for the ride, I guess." <laughs> I'm an innocent party. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm this one. I was already in investigation last night. I got I got I got dragged out, coming from Wales, straight down to Manchester, come straight here, just you know, j just for this right now, and uh, yeah, it blames me for it. Absolute carnage. Just behind the tree. There we go. They're walking there. Come here. Come here. There. Dude. I'll point it out. Right, so right behind me. Right behind me. There's, there's, there's like a cat in the graveyard and there's, a, there's literally a woman going meow 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 meow. Literally trying to like get a cat over. Someone's taking a picture of her. Someone's <laughs> actually taking a picture of her. She's like kneeling down in the car. She's like meow meow. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, she was messing around with it before before we started walking around. That's like half an hour ago. She had a, a like a pint, like a pint glass on her. She's like obviously intoxicated. Like, <laughs> she's like, come here, come here, mittens. Come here, I want, want to stroke you, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> here, I want to stroke your wee pussy. Don't fall in the river, it's way. Oh, it's run off. It's gone. And there's a the matrix for the motherfucker. Yeah, that's that. Awesome. Right, right, we can see the woman, guys. We can see the woman. There she is, she's just literally gone behind that. <laughs> there she is. Right. That is mad. That is so cool. Yeah, it does look like some nice. kind of highland man. It's um... And the one thing that's really a shame is the fact that a lot of these are just like weather worn and they're fading and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of fading, but like, you can still see the stag on there, there's a rabbit, uh, pheasant, or, I mean, I would, I would think this guy was into hunting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, they don't make tombstones like that. This is some important person. Founder of University Library. There you go. But, uh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Anywhere else. You don't get that anymore. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just look at like 
the American cemeteries. Yeah, just the yeah, they're so featureless. Yeah, just like little square rocks in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a pristine lawn. There's none of this kind of character. No. Yeah. yeah. So we just had a quick walk around. Um, you know, the saw guy decides just no. Um, shows a few stuff that um, they don't show on the tour, which is pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I guess what we're doing uh, past the crazy cat I do. So this is going to be interesting. So um, <laughs> this has been here for like absolutely hours now. Is it? This is Dan's fault. <laughs> crazy lady chasing a cat around the graveyard, boy. You bad car. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this so I can video you guys, but um So here, here we go guys. This is um this, this is the treat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you took that one. Oh, oh good job, I got that on record. I can show Dane that. <laughs> so, a few hours have passed now. Uh, Dan did a live stream. Still at the graveyard. And uh, yeah, really, you know, I didn't know I was going to be doing any kind of paranormal stuff, but Dan, Dan brought me here. Seems like he's obsessed with it now, to be honest with you. I'm not no, going to lie. I'm not. <laughs> no, I wanted to come and see some architecture and say nothing about some kind of open so he wanted to come see up some architecture at night time when you can't really see it. Yeah, bro, it's no, bro. I got it... here during daylight. <laughs> I got here at like... See, Dan's a paranormal enthusiast right now. That's what's happening. I love paranormal. I love watching it. I just don't like being involved in it. <laughs> he's obsessed with it, guys, honestly. On, he's so, so obsessed with it. Leave a comment if you think he's obsessed with it. Since that pool park one, he really does want to go back. He says he doesn't, but I, I really do think he wants to go back. So He does. He does, don't he? He definitely does. He does, 100%. Why would he bring well, me? We will prove it tonight. Why would he bring me so many miles away to, to come to like one of the most scariest and most haunted graveyards in the world? It's a secret escapade. Mm. <laughs> he's, obs he's obsessed with it. Anyway, <laughs> I came straight up to the crypt over there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? That's what it is, man. So I've not actually got any equipment. Um, so we're just gonna just do do what Dan Dan wants to do and take some pictures of the architecture. <sighs> we'll see. Yeah, there is a lot of people working out, don't there? I think it's weird, it's got like this, all this iron shit going over the top of it. We're all ripping the same line. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know that. Oh, I've got to make an update, mine was too big. It was way too big. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, the Three Stooges stood in a grave. <laughs> I like that iron construction. Yeah, well, I wonder what it was about that, like why did they add that to the actual thing itself? So right now guys, basically this. Guys, I never say guys. Anyway, right, this right now people. <laughs> this is the sign of uh, immortality. And um, it was only brought in in the 1700s was it? Because uh, Scotland didn't have, have it. Yeah. And it was something to do, it was actually a law that was brought in wasn't it? Was it a law or something? No, that was about the um, animals being buried. Oh, that was it, yeah. Yeah, animals still to this day aren't allowed to be buried on human graveyards. Well, that's why we have pet cemeteries. And that's why there's the story of the grey fries Bobby, which is the dog buried outside the gates, because it wasn't allowed to be buried in here. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? But, um, yeah, this is introduced in the 17s, I think it was. Um, the, the, the skull and crossbones was immortality, so it's quite interesting. So, guys, check this out. We are back, night time. Check this out. 
this is freaky shit. So you can actually see right there, that is the entrance into one of the crypts. Well, that's actually the tunnels that go into the Niddy Street vault. It's pretty crazy because you can see the steps going down into the, into the actual pit itself. It's crazy. Pretty darn freaky. So basically at the entrance of uh, Greyfriars uh, Cemetery there is um, a gravestone um, I think it was something to do with the police officer uh, who died and um, basically for 14 years his dog sat on the grave, uh, kept on going back and visiting his grave for like 14 years or something but um, when the dog died unfortunately he wasn't allowed to be buried inside um, the human cemetery so he was actually buried outside the cemetery somewhere. Um, apparently they can't find uh, the dog remains now, which is pretty strange, but yeah, pretty crazy story. crazy right now this place actually dates back on record to the 14th century but what's pretty mad is uh, you know what was here before that um, I mean all records literally only show from the 14th century so um, and I think they only started burying people here in the 15th century so it's, kind of, it's, it's literally steeped in history for this place uh, the architecture is mental um, you know it's, it's, it's some stuff that you, you really can't find anywhere else in the world uh, that's why I love Britain so much because it's just so intense and steep with crazy gothic architecture. It's, it's cool. Wow, look at that castle here. So that right now guys, that is Edinburgh Castle. And it looks so cool with the fog. Why is the wood license? Yeah, look how many there is though. Yo, that's oh, not a good sign, is it? God. I'm sure I've heard stories about demons and, and, and stuff like that. But they're all surrounded around slums. Right, so we're doing this overnight challenge in the most haunted graveyard in the world and come across this and there's just like insects and wood lice everywhere all over this um this this tomb. And I don't know if this is some kind of I'm sure I've read stories that there's like loads of like insects and like creepy crawlies where demonic things are. I'm sure of it. But this is just horrible. Minging. They're all down that wall. All the way down it. Dude, they're, like, they're literally on every single one. That is messed up. That is nasty. Why, why is that? I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? I don't get it though, because like, Woodlouse, I didn't see the name, <laughs> Woodlouse, that's, I didn't that's see, rock man. I didn't see any of these today, during the day. No, I didn't. Either. That's rough, isn't it, that? That is so grim. I wouldn't say like a little corner of it, but not every single one. <laughs> Minging. Why are all these everywhere? I mean, yeah, I get bugs are everywhere, but not like this. I've I'm, never seen them like this before. No, I've never seen this before, man. Grim in it out. Bit random though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Cool. So, what, I wonder why would they have it designed like that? Just design, I guess. Unless it generally is like um, like a child sized coffin, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, obviously the, the question is does that lid come off? But no, I guess it's a solid piece. Seeing this. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that a noose? Yeah, it's like a, it's a noose, mate. On, on, on the most tight, on this tiniest little branch going. I, 
Oh man. Can you imagine trying to top yourself on that man? It's just not gonna work, is it? No, but why 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 would you even do that as a joke? In that is that branch would snap right away. No. Touch it. No. <laughs> Touch it. Someone's put the effort in to do that though. I, how have they got up there? On the wall. Fetch ladders in, they've got some uh, security passes. So this is going from being an okay, like, this is going from being like an okay day to then being, I'm not so keen on this, to then being, I don't really want to do this, to then being, what the f is going on? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not even joking you. Like, why is there a noose hanging there? I'm just trying to get out of here. I just want to go home no, 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 <laughs> and watch no, Adventure no, Time. You know what it is? You know, I do want to go home and watch Adventure Time. I like watching cartoons after I've been in situations like this and taking my mind off it. Yeah. You know, is, am I weird for doing that? No, because I do it as well. Does anyone else do that? I do it all the time. But like that, someone's put great effort into that, right? So if someone's put great effort into that, what else have they put great effort into? Are we going to walk around here and see a bigger one? Or someone hanging? <laughs> I don't want to think about that because I ain't doing a Logan Paul. <laughs> right, this is this is becoming weird now, man. Oh man, look at the state how grim that is. It's more than grim. That's rough, isn't it? In, just in the face. Well, the face, yeah, I just saw the face then. What the face? The oh. face above it, it's like a skyline. Look at that. Yeah, it's scary. It's loads of schools in there as well. It is beautiful. It's scary. Beautiful. There's, um, there's a decap decapitated baby. Is that? I don't know if it's like uh, a baby, like on the wing or head. <laughs> what is my life? See, I told you, Dan's, Dan's become obsessed with, obsessed with the paranormal right now. No, I'm He's not. He's become a true enthusiast. He's going to take take over my role. Um, I'm going to be doing the next one, guys. Uh, Dan's going to be taking over the paranormal. Paranormal <laughs> with fighters. <laughs> It's like well early in the morning, I'm going to wake Flex up. It's just Flex covered in smoke. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, it's becoming a bit of a habit now, we're getting people with, with these bangers. But you know what, we've been travelling for like two three hours straight. Me and Carl got over two hours to go, so we've got to have fun somehow. <laughs> Some crawl life, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. Smoke up there floating around. <laughs> Jesus. And to be continued anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. <coughs> 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 